Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. But right now, I want us to come back to Proverbs chapter 30, verse 20. This is the way of an adulteress. You want to understand how a, a person who is sexually immoral is. This is their way. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I have done no wrong. Isn't that exactly what goes on today with sexual promiscuity? Young people committing adultery, having sex with people they're not married to, and they wipe their mouth. I've done nothing wrong. Two consenting adults, I've done nothing wrong. But young people, the Bible says that all of the sins you commit are outside the body. But when you commit sexual immorality, you are committing a sin against your body. Now, you, you can say it's two consenting adults. It's my body. I can do with it what I want. You can do all the rationalization you want. You're, this is the way of the sexually immoral person. They, they wipe their mouth and say, I have done no wrong. They eat. They do what they want. They have their sex, wipe their mouth and say, I have done no wrong. Yes, you have done wrong. Sex is to be between a man and a woman, husband and a wife. Not between two young people that act like stray dogs walking down the street. You know, I, I actually had a man look at me one time and say, well, you know, dogs do it whenever they want to. Why can't I? I said, you're not a dog. You, you weren't created in the image of dog. You were created in the image of God. Young people, I challenge you today in this, in this sexually immoral world, the greatest gift that you can give to each other on your wedding night is ignorance. The greatest gift that you can give each other on your wedding night is total ignorance and naivete. You don't have any idea what to do. <laughs> you learn it together. You, your only sexual experiences are with each other. And you know what's fascinating? When all you know is each other, you are satisfied for a lifetime.